Amen. Acts chapter 9, starting at the first verse, priests. Amen. If I could use a topic today, the topic would be used to bees. All right. That's used right. to bees. Saul was a bad, bad boy. Yes, Amen. Amen. And there's no doubt about it. Saul was like a fixer. Saul, Saul, you call Saul up to have anything done. Saul was the man to call to get stuff fixed. So we know the story the whole time that, that, that he thought that he was doing the right thing. And, and we hear that lady say all the time, you could be doing a good thing, but is it a God thing? Hallelujah. So Saul, what, what he had in his mind, Saul thought that he was doing God a favor. Saul thought that by persecuting those that came up talking about Jesus is this and Jesus and that, Saul said, no, no, we, we, we got to get rid of these people. So Saul was persecuting amen. the people. Oh, amen, on. amen, hallelujah. And one thing about Saul, Saul followed orders. Saul did not step out of line to do anything. The first verse said that Saul went into the temple and asked them permission to go and do this and that. Even when we were in the world, we still did things the right way. That's right. Amen. That's Hallelujah. Right. So the story leads us to, to talk about Saul. But I want us, if we will, use your spiritual mind and replace Saul with yourself. Come on. Oh, Hallelujah. Right. Replace Saul. Oh, let's, right. In other words, let's flip the strip. Hallelujah. Right. Yeah, let's flip it off. We can always talk a lot about what Saul did, but how, what about you? What about, right. what about you? How about because right. we've all been on a Damascus road. Right. Oh my goodness, yeah. my goodness. We've all been there. We've all persecuted the church at one time or another. Yeah. Holly, can I get a witness? Yeah. Hallelujah. I know I've said some things. I ain't going up in there for that man to get my money and spend my money. Holly, I ain't going up there with all those crooked people. All those people come yeah. out of church and they lie on you. I ain't starting church. That's and all of us have been there one way yeah. or another. Yeah. All of us will use an excuse for not to go to church. I was in church and I got hurt and them folk ain't going to hurt me no more. Yeah. So we use that excuse while we're on our Damascus road. Yeah. Hallelujah. Huh? All of us, huh? listen to what I'm saying. Yeah. All of us done had some dirty laundry yeah. in our back. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Right. Ain't none of us no better than the other. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Some of us still got some stuff nice and neat hanging up in our closet. Hi. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> if the truth be told, be. hallelujah, we've all been used to be. Yeah. Hallelujah. And if we find out about the scriptures and we know that Saul went on his way, he was on a mission to do what? To persecute the church. Saul was on a mission to do just what he was ordered to do. Uh -huh. Your used to be might not be my used to be. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You might not have sinned like I've sinned. That's right. But believe all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All of us. Elder Bobby, you got a Damascus road. Hallelujah. You got to walk that road all by your lonesome. Hallelujah. So Natasha, you got a Damascus road. Hallelujah. You know what? Why we on that road? We think that we were doing the right thing. We think. We thought that we knew what was best for ourselves. But I'm here to tell you, as long as we continue to kick against the prick, Don't, don't, don't sit next to him. He a murderer. But you a liar. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. It's quiet, but it's right. Come on. Don't, don't, don't. You know what? I 
saw her. She's a whoremonger. She she an adulteress, but you a thief. If I only knew then what I know now. All right. But the whole time God was whispering in our ear. Uh -huh. The whole time there was a still small voice saying that I'm the way. Yes. I'm the truth. Come on now. And I'm the light. Come on. Mm -hmm. But no, we don't want to listen to that. We want to keep on doing it our way. We want to keep on fighting and fighting. But God said I have an easier yes, for you to yes, take. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Yes. Hallelujah. Lead us, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The more I did things my way, it only got worse. Yes. Mm -hmm. I believe it. It only got worse. I can kick this habit on my own. Yes. Come on, that's what you said, Oh, yeah. I don't need no step. No, I might not need a step, but I need the Lord. That's right. I need him. I just need to take that step to give him my all and give him my all. Yeah. And until you say, Lord, what will you have me to do? Did you hear what Saul said after he was thrown from his horse? He asked God a question. What will you have me to do? Yeah. Some of us need to ask God a question. What do you have me to do, Lord? What do you have me to do, Lord? What do you 